What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time, I'm reviewing the game Medal of Honor Vanguard, which was released for the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo Wii by Electronic Arts back in 2007. And this is pretty much the 10th game in the Medal of Honor franchise. And you pretty much play as Corporal Frank Keegan, who is a member of of the 82nd Airborne Division, and they've been, like, commissioned to uh, be paratroopers and for the first time ever in, like, combat during World War Two and everything. Now, throughout the course of the uh, game, you, you'll um, play in four different campaigns, Husky, Neptune, Market Garden, and Varsity. Now, the one thing about these uh, campaigns is that it has um, 10 missions in it, making it one of the shortest Medal of Honor games in the franchise. Uh, the only other two uh, Medal of Honor games that I can think of is the shortest Vanguard would be Medal of Honor European Assault and um, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. One thing about this um, particular game, since the character you play is a paratrooper, they'll have you um, jump out of the plane, you, you pull the um, string for the um, parachute to, to land at the drop zone and stuff. It only happens with um, Husky, Marcus Garden, and Varsity. Now, the only reason you don't do it in, in Neptune is because uh, get the plane gets shot down. And you and somebody else the, are the only survivors in, in that one. Spoiler alert, but some of you pro probably don't care if you uh, haven't played it yet, you know. Now, as far as the weapons are concerned, it's only limited to, like, rifles, like the Car 98K, and the uh, M1 Grant, the SMGs, which consists of the Thompson. MP40 and the STG44. Now the um the the BAR is the only heavy um, assault rifle in the game, and plus you have bazookas and, and grenades. And the one thing about this uh, Metal Honor Vanguard is that it's it's pretty much based off of um, Metal of Honor European Assault in that you, you fight with your squad and you're limited to um, holding two weapons and um, and a certain number of grenades, you know what I'm saying? Um, plus, w with the Wii version, you pretty much, as far as throwing the grenade is concerned, you pretty much um, hold down a B, like B button and you throw it. The, the, the far as distance is concerned, you know what I'm saying, and um, it does have um, health regeneration in the game for for um, for the character, which pretty much does borrow from uh, Call of Duty and, and Halo and stuff like that. Now, and one thing about Metal Honor Vanguard. It pretty much has medals you can earn throughout the course of the game, like the previous Medal of Honor games. But they're, they're earned by doing various things like landing in a particular drop zone, getting a number of headshots and stuff, you know, grabbing all the weapons in, in a specific mission, whether it be like, like the MP40 ST. G44 or Pasuka or something like that it depends on which mission you're in. And um you get one particular medal, I forget the name of it, where you get it when you get all the other medals. Now the type of medals you do get are like the Silver Star, Bronze Star, the Campaign Medal, the oh, the um Markman's Marksman Award and stuff like that and everything. And like the other Metal of Honor games that were released before it, Metal of Honor Vanguard does have um, multiplayer on it. But, but with the Wii version, I know this, it has um, it's pretty much a four player multiplayer. And you need pretty much like one other person between one and three other people to uh, play the multiplayer. I would say it's more fun to have three other people play it. 
but I'm not aware if the PS2 version has uh, online play on it. If it does, you can mention it in the comment section. Now, with Medal of Honor as a whole, it's not known for having like online multiplayer and all and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like a like a handful that was released on on like the PS2 and Xbox, mainly the uh, Metal on the front line of um, Rising Sun and European Assault. It, that, that's possible for I guess, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure of that. But anyway, the single, like I said, the single player uh, campaign is based off of uh, Metal Honor uh, European Assault in that you can carry only two weapons and um, some grenades. Which is pretty similar to a lot of first person shooters out there, you know what I'm saying? The, I'll say the vast majority, like um, Halo, um, Call of Duty, and all that. Now, when it comes to the graphics and the level design of uh, Metal Honor Vanguard, they're okay, but there's nothing about them that stands out in everything. And there's no one has said that the graphics has it. Pretty much aged well in everything, you know. Now the um the soundtrack of um Metal Honor Vanguard is pretty much the best part of the game, mainly because uh Michael G Giacchino was the one who produced the soundtrack, and he also produced the soundtrack for the rest of the games in the Metal Honor franchise and stuff like that. The, the trolls overall are pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? But much like the graphics and the level design, there's nothing about it that really stands out in my mind, you know what I'm saying? Outside the fact for the weed phrase you throw the grenades by, um, by um, th chucking the um, uh, Wii mo forward, you know, not uh, actually throw it, but you throw it like you would throw a grenade and everything. But other than that, there's nothing that says, stands out about it and everything. Now, to me, another thing I, I forgot to mention was the fact that the Allied weapons are, uh, they have upgrades and everything. Like for the uh, SMGs, uh, it's pretty much ammo. You get more ammo out of, out of the upgrades. And with the uh, rifles, mainly the uh, M1 Garant, you get a, get a scope. Now, the um, the upgrades are, were a good idea, but I think they should have stuck with um, having the upgrades be um, having more ammo with each uh, allied gun that you have, like the uh, Tati or the uh, BAR or, or the uh, M1 Grant. M1 Grant. It should, to me, the M1 Grant should have had a um, scope with it already like it was in one mission in um, Metal Honor European Assault. Now, in my opinion, Metal Honor Vanguard is a decent first-person shooter, but at the end of the day, it ended up being a um, an average one in the mill first-person shooter from a general standpoint. If you are a um, fan of the Metal Honor franchise, it's it's a game to have, you know what I'm saying? If you haven't, if you collect all the uh, games in the franchise, other than that, there is, uh, to me, there's pretty much uh, other first person shooters that's slightly better than this one, like, um, say, Halo 2, something like that, you know what I'm saying? As far as the score is concerned, I definitely give it a 7 out of 10, mainly because nothing, there's nothing about the game. Turf fires like graphics and the weapons, like I mentioned, like I mentioned, didn't really stand out in my mind. Plus, the mission, the game is too short as far as the single player campaign and all that. With that being said, if you have an opinion about Man or Honor Vanguard, regardless if you like it or hate it or whatever the case, you think it's a pretty decent game or whatever, you can mention it in the comment section of a video. Don't forget to subscribe and don't, and don't forget to thumbs up the video. This is your boy Big Metro Fan 12 signing off.